Welcome to Art of the Drink. My name is Anthony Caparelli, and we are back down in Loretto, Kentucky at the Maker's Mark Distillery working with Natalie. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. <laughs> Natalie works here at Maker's Mark, and she's agreed to help us out making a drink that I get a lot of requests for. Um, people always write in and say, Anthony, how do you make a classic Manhattan? Mm -hmm. My favorite Manhattan recipe uses Maker's Mark, so I figured this is the best place in the world to make a classic Manhattan. We're at their beautiful new bar in their tasting room. This is what you do, right? This is what I do. Fantastic. We're going to make a Maker's Mark Manhattan, and we're going to make it up. So that means I'm going to build it in the tin, and I'm going to set my martini glass first. Okay. Big scoop of ice in the tin. And two ounces of Maker's Mark is going to get us started. And to that, I'm going to add a half ounce of sweet vermouth. Okay. And finally, two dashes of bitters. And then I'm going to shake this whole thing up till the tin frosts, get it nice and ice cold. All right, now, a lot of people write in all the time. They say, Anthony, I don't have all the bar tools that I see you use on the podcast. Can I still make drinks the way that you do? And I say, yeah, absolutely. And today, what we're actually going to do is we're going to use, uh, th this is called a, a Boston shaker set, and we're going to use it without the strainer because a lot of people don't have strainers. This is just a shaker tin and a pint glass. Okay. And what you do is uh, you just break the seal a little bit and pull the pint glass up just, just a little bit. This is most easily done with cube ice because I'm going to actually use the, t the shaker tin set to strain the ice. And what I'm going to do is just hold this right over the glass and rock it back and forth until I get all the liquid out of the tin and into the glass. All right, and then I'm going to top this off with, normally I would use two cherries on a pick, but Dave Picarell, your master distiller, mm -hmm. showed me this trick. Actually, um, I'm using a Maker's Mark marinated cherry, and I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this right into the drink. And you can see I get some nice cherry juice in there and release some of the oils and then I'm going to drop that right in the drink and that is my classic Maker's Mark Manhattan. You want to give that a try? Absolutely. All right. Each week our Art of the Drink video podcast prize package will consist of a Maker's Mark apron, a copy of my Art of the Drink Volume 1 Bar Essentials DVD, and a limited edition version of That Special Touch, a Maker's Mark cookbook not available in stores. So we're here at Keeneland Racetrack for the Maker's Mark Mile, and I ran into Mark Gillespie of Whiskey Cast fame, and I figured I got to take a couple minutes and sit down with him, talk a little bit about Whiskey Cast, how it got started. Basically, I started Whiskey Cast in the fall of 2005. 139 weeks later, we're uh, still doing it. There's a complete archive, all 139 episodes. There's interviews with some of the real industry veterans who've been distilling for 50 years or more. What do you look for in a whiskey? What I want in a whiskey is a balance. I can't judge a bourbon to a scotch because there's completely different taste profiles so it has to be consistent with what I would expect from the region. What is your favorite whiskey? I haven't found it yet. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Part of the problem with being based in the US is that we don't get all the whiskeys so because of that I can't say that I have, I have a favorite because I am still looking. You're, I think, widely recognized as the number one uh, internet guru for all things whiskey, scotch, bourbon, all kinds of stuff. So congratulations on that. One of the things I've always tried to do is help other people join in my learning experience because I'm still learning many things about this by talking to master distillers and the guys who've been around the profession a lot longer than I have. That's the whole idea behind the show is to pick their brains so that the listeners can listen along with me. One of the ideas behind it also to continue it was as an oral history of whiskey because it would have been so cool decades ago to get folks like Colonel Beam on tape. We couldn't do that then, but we can now, so that's why I'm doing it. Tremendous resource. Absolutely phenomenal internet resource. Can't recommend it highly enough. WhiskeyCast.com. Thank you so much, Thank Mark. You. Good luck. All right, so first thing, go ahead and set your glassware. Okay. And big scoop of ice in the tin. Ice in the tin. Good? Yeah, perfect. Check. Okay. Now, two parts makers, right? Yep. Okay. One, two. Beautiful. So you know your way around bourbon, huh? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> At least I tell people I do. Okay. Now, half of this. Right. Okay, cut that off. Perfect. Now bitters. Right, two dashes of bitters. Two dashes. Okay. Now shake it up real good. Shake it up real good. Until it's frosted, right? <laughs> you got it. Is that key? Until it's frosted. That is the key. Okay. 
Fantastic. Now, this is the tricky part, right? Yes. Okay. What about like right there? That's going to be Too perfect. Much? No, that's great. The idea is you want to make just enough of a, of a gap so that the, the liquid comes out and the ice doesn't. That's perfect. You can rock it back and forth a little bit just to make sure you get it I all I want to make sure I get it all. Absolutely. No waste in the main head. That's perfect. There we go. Now the cherry. And the trick is, like you said, to squeeze the cherry. Yeah. Something I never knew before. <laughs> it's a good I. tip. It's a good tip. It's great. And it, there's your perfect Manhattan. Fantastic. You want to give this a try? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Salud. Salud. You gotta drink it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and action. Oh, do I need to flip the cup first? Doesn't matter. You said you were ready. <laughs> Listen, Dave. <laughs> what do you think ready means? Action. Good. You already started. Okay, you ready? So bourbon was kind of always in your future. Bourbon's in my blood. Is my Maker's Mark showing? That's important to me. <laughs> Good laugh. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah. I was listening to you laughing earlier. <laughs> and drinking is something to be taken very seriously. I giggled a little. Drink. Does it matter? <laughs> Come on, Dave. Work with me. I could do this all day. What else you want to make? She yawned a few times. Yeah, I totally faked it. I don't have to do my space to get to the art of the drink, do I? No, not at okay. all. Okay. Well, I can just play on the drink thing. I'd rather know about drinks than people.